Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, we are Nick and Sarah, and with our two little dogs, we live and travel full time in our van when the world permits it. Over the last few years, we've visited over 25 countries, and this winter we're traveling from southern Spain all the way north to the UK and beyond. In the last episode, we left you in northern France. The next day, we took the Channel Tunnel across to the United Kingdom without too many issues. Arriving in the UK, straight onto the motorway, the sun was shining, but that soon changed to torrential rain. But we made it safely back to a warm welcome to see my family and a very special reunion. Join us in this episode as we start our winter van life adventure in the UK. Guys, we're in the UK, we made it. We made it, can you believe it? They we're let us here, in. we're here. <laughs> Nick hasn't been here for five years. Five years. I've it's been. Crazy two years or three years over three years i think and and now we're here we are back in the motherland yeah and i don't know what everyone's moaning about it's lovely here and it's it's, it's like a it's like a foreign country for us because we haven't been back for so long we've been out in spain for years and traveling it's just it's lovely things are a Loving lot different it. aren't they so yeah. we are enjoying it we're having a good time let's hope the excitement and the fun and the everything else doesn't wear off so um we've just spent the last week with nick's family in the midlands but last night, and we've been staying on driveways. We on have been living driveway. in the van the whole time. We had the option of going in the house, yeah. but we, we don't want to get too comfortable, even though the dogs did no, like the No, we want to stay more. in the van. It's kind of more security and things like that as well. And, um, and yes, so last night was our first night proper wild camping. And we survived. We survived, we're all right. <laughs> we haven't even told you where we are. We're in the Shropshire Hills. after a week on the driveway at my folks house we haven't driven that far it's only about an hour and a half from the midlands where my folks are to the shropshire hills but what a drive the sun was out blue skies all the autumn colors look vibrant lovely drive over the, over the clee hills few stop offs on the way not too bad not too bad stopped off in ludlow beautiful castle on the hill by the river at the lovely Stowstone Castle. Probably pronounced that incorrectly. And it's not actually a castle, it's more of a fortified house, but beautiful. And I am loving the English countryside. After being away for so long, everything just looks so green here. We're just not used to it at living in Spain, are we? Used to dry desert-like climate. Here, it's just lush. So where we stayed, on our first night world camping is just in the car park of the Shropshire Hills Discovery Centre which is just over there and um, what have they got in there darling got lovely toilets we've been to use the loose <laughs> no they've got a replica of a woolly mammoth that oh, was yes. found yes. in Condover which is not far from Shrewsbury not far from here yeah that's in the, on the outside of the building that's why we know that that's there oh no it's inside the building are you talking about the cuddly toy set outside? No. <laughs> Sarah thinks the replica is a stuffed toy outside. No, a replica like a big giant woolly mammoth, darling. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Unfortunately, we can only show you this woolly mammoth. Yeah, basically you Basically, you have to pay five pounds to go to the expedition each, and we just don't have time for that. We've only got exhibition, ex not expedition. Exhibition, sorry. <laughs> we thought that ten pounds for the two of us to see a woolly mammoth when we've got this one was a bit over the top. Yeah, this is actually on park for night. Um, you can leave a donation here, which we have done. It's like a pound, and there's like thirty acres of meadows to walk around. Loads of little trails. Um, we'll just drop the what three words. We're going to try and do that a lot more now, mm. aren't we? 
Didn't leave you for that long, did we? Hey, we've got our own two little woolly mammoths in here. Here we go. Oh, yes. So how are you doing driving on the left side of the road? So every time you come to a junction, when you first start off in the morning, you have to concentrate. Yeah. But once you're on the road and there's loads of cars, so it's good that you just follow the cars. It's when there's a quiet road, no traffic, and it's first thing in the morning before that second coffee. Yes. You have to be careful. You just Nick just has to remember to always drive next to the curb. You see? And I should be the driver. If I can't see the curb, then we should be worried. Yeah. <laughs> and we've only had um, two. two two little incidents where we almost had a head-on collision since arriving. To be fair though, I have never driven really in the UK. I learned to drive in the UK and then moved out to Spain, so yeah. never so really driven well, it. You're doing well, my love. You're doing really well. Oh, Ooh, I want to go for a pint in there. That's the thing we're going to do today. First day back on their own chips, fish and chips, British, standard and a pint of ale. Another weird thing about being back in the UK is the whole metric thing. You know, we're used to metric, kilometres, metres, it all makes sense, you know, a thousand metres in a kilometre, all that. Here, it's blooming miles, foot and yards. Yards and foot, what, what's that about? So after a really quick stop in the local library, picked up a map, got us some information of a very friendly Very lady. friendly Very lady. friendly lady. We're off to the... Stiper stones. Stiper stones. And we're in first gear. This is part of a very, very narrow and very, very steep road for little old Minster. Loving this, loving it. Golden Amber Hills. Just concentrate on that little narrow road. Yeah, sorry about any audio issues, but I mean, how nice is this? I can't believe I've never been here before either. It's only like an hour and a half away from Your where parents. I grew up, yeah. my folks' house. The views are outstanding. These Shropshire Hills, pretty yeah, nice. Very impressive. So the situation is, we just keep filming everything because everything looks so, so nice. I mean, maybe if you live in the UK, you probably might think it's a little bit, I don't know, boring. normal or boring. But we're just loving it. It just is so nice, especially when you've got a bit of sunshine going on. Um, we are, everyone's so friendly. <laughs> and, um, and we are um, a little bit lost, kind of, because we've got no internet because we're in the middle of nowhere, but we're just winging it. It's just fabulous. Beautiful, isn't it? 
lovely green countryside of the UK. The babies are loving it too, especially Charlie, because he has got a thing for horses and sheep and things like that, so we're seeing plenty of those. You having a good time? hikes boring we're gonna do this but not the whole thing because um it's eight kilometers it's eight kilometers if you haven't got time because it's gonna be dark in about an hour and it's just started raining a little bit so we're gonna do a runner and see if we can see at least one staple rock stipple rock stipple rock <laughs> actually about a 20 minute walk 20 minute run 20 minute run but then it's the top there's great views up here but i guess these are the uh, the rocks down it's got less cold less windy it's a shame that it's going to be dark in about an hour's time because we could stay up here for a lot longer should have brought the drone up as well the drone up. there you go you've got to be prepared for all weathers right so back at the van and now we literally have probably about 45 minutes until it gets dark so we need to find somewhere to park up and we need to find somewhere to get some food So we've just arrived in a little place called Bishop's ah, Bishop's Castle and we're going to go out shortly. So we put the diesel heater on for the dogs. Nick's just gone to use the public toilets. We're parked up in a small car park and uh, yeah, we'll get the van warmed up and then we'll, um, we'll head out. So darling, we didn't go fish and chips. Oh, we didn't go out and get the British fish and chips. Or the ale. Or the ale. And the, the reason why is because it's actually Guy Fawkes night. It's November the 5th. And we've heard a few fireworks and we didn't want to leave the dogs. So we'll do the fish and chip thing tomorrow. And the ale, we'll do it tomorrow. But we did get a classic British Carling Black Label. So we're having some hummus with some as a little starter. Chinese Ooh. hot, uh, Ooh, that hot looks noodly good. Chinese soup. So that's us. So we didn't make it round the town. So hopefully we'll have a little pop round in the morning when it will be better for filming because it will be daylight as well. Good morning people. And yes, we are both up bright and early. Well, I'm up. Guess who's still in bed? I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. There's a little bit of blue sky now though. Half an hour ago it was completely grey, so I think I made the right decision. Nick was getting water for Lord Dizzy in the night because he's too lazy to get out of the bed it's from too down cold, there. Isn't it? He's got his own little section down here. Uh, his own little sort of corner with his own little sheet. And he's got his own little pillows there as well. And uh, yeah spoilt little dog and he spilt the water here so we had to get off the quick drying towel so well, there we go small van problems small van problems oh, <laughs> is, it, is it not that cold it's not that cold. it is a little bit fresh <laughs> um the van's back to daytime living now we're all packed up and we're ready to go out and <laughs> check out this little this little town we're in. Yes, we are. But before we go out, guys, where's Dizzy? He's on that really up again. So that brings us on to today's sponsor of the video, and that's Readly. Now, if you don't know what Readly is, it's a fantastic online magazine subscription service that gives you access to literally thousands of magazines. Yeah, any magazine you can think of on this one simple, easy to use, great little app. When space is key, because you live in a tiny van, it's perfect having everything in the palm of your hand. There we go, thousands. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Quite often, we don't have internet signal. And what's really mm. good with Readly is you can download the magazines onto your device when you're in range, so you can read them out of range. We've all got our favourite magazines in this van. As you've seen with Dizzy, he likes to check out the talent. And Charlie, of course, loves a little browse. He does have a little soft spot for his horses. Mummy will do that bit for you, don't worry. <laughs> turn the page, I'm going to turn the page. <laughs> now, I've been looking at the cookery magazines. Nick's have a little browse at the old photography, photography. design, so, so, many. so many things to choose from. But we've also been looking at the travel magazine. Always. British Heritage Travel Magazine, which looks quite interesting. I just had a quick flick through it, but there's a, um, an article on talking about what to do in Britain in the winter. I just had a winter flick through Wonderland. the pictures. Winter Wonderland. And it get looks amazing. Christmassy because we really snowy. want to get stuck in the snow somewhere, not stuck, stuck. A white Christmas. Mm. If you want to give Readly a try, guys, click the link in our description and you get one month for free. And it's then £7.99 a month, and you can cancel, cancel that anytime. Anytime. Let's go and have a look around the little town. Finally, Nick's been giving me a few um, camera tips this morning in between getting ready. Um, oh, something's happened here. There we go. Nice and warm, all wrapped up, yeah. double jacketing this time. It's not a bad day again today, it's a little bit blustery. We've seen patches of sun and we're ready for adventure. So there's actually seven pubs in this little small village town um, and they've all got really cool names, haven't they? All really old fashioned names, the Six Bells, the King's Head, the Boar's Head. But yeah, we're just gonna have a quick walk up the main street, have a look at some of these lovely old buildings. Check out that camper. And then we might go for a cheeky little ale. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's so quaint and pretty and everything looks old. But I will go to the loo, public loo there. Thank you. The Three Tons Inn and Brewery is the town's most famous inn. First licensed in 1642. And the beers are actually still brewed the Victorian Tower Brewery which was built in 1888. So we're hoping that the dogs can come into the pub with us. Nick's just gone to go and ask otherwise I guess we can just sit outside here. Well yeah it looks like a lovely little pub in there and dogs are allowed. Cheers, my love. Oh, this is yours, Dan. This is the pale zesty ale. Oh. This is like the IPA pale ale. Nice. First pint. Half. Half. <laughs> oh, it's nice, that, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. So smooth, though. Get into this. Yeah, definitely prefer mine. And the best thing about this spa is we can bring our little fur boys in with us. That's why we're sitting over in this little corner, dark, dingy corner, because um, there's people eating in the rest of the in the rest of the bar. We could definitely get into this, so I think we might have to do a bit of ale tasting all around the UK. A bit of fun. <laughs> Cheers. You had too much to drink. Go. Yes. No problem. Easy. See, it's the little things in life that make us happy. Just finny starting. <laughs> Where are 
are we, my love? Well, I've just driven for about 10 minutes to a lovely little town called Clun to get some fish and chips. What a pretty little bridge. Again, it's just beautiful everywhere. Look at that postcard cafe. Everything's just so pretty. So pretty, so quaint. But we are on a mission. Yes, it's a shame we can't stay in the car park we've just parked up at because there's signs saying no overnight staying. Yes. Because it's got a little toilet, little picnic benches, lovely little river or stream, yeah. little wooden bridge. So we can't Beautiful. stay in this little town. Well, we could stay in this little town, but we'll probably do a bit more driving after we've found a fish and chip shop. Oh, it's all just lovely, isn't it, my love? Beautiful. <laughs> You've just balls this one up right proper, haven't it's you? It's just a little bit further, isn't it? <laughs> Put fish and chip shots in the area, clicked on the list. And he clicked on the wrong town. It's the area, it says Clun the area, I think, but it's actually 15 minutes further drive. We're 15 minutes away from the nearest, excuse me, is there any fish and chip shops here? Sorry, not in Clun. Oh, oh, there we go. That. I'm sorry. <laughs> no <laughs> problem. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So there we go, my love. What are we going to do now? So yeah, we had it all planned out, you see. We were going to get our fish and chips and we were going to sit here on this lovely little picnic bench overlooking Little Bridge and Stream and eat it. And the van's just there. But anyway, we will move on and the quest for fish and chips is on. He's looking for his fish and chips. He's not happy. Oh, there's a little tiny castle over there that we were going to go and look at but it's more of just like a one wall ruin and it's raining so I know it sounds bad but we're just looking from the van right back to Bishop's Castle <laughs> So, you know, we had to come back here and try the other two ales that we didn't try at lunchtime. These are the other two ales that they brew on site in the oldest brewery in the UK. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. So I've got the bitter. And I've got the triple X, I think it's called. But this is a strong one. Hence again, 8%, only a, baby. 8%. Hence again, only a half. Cheers. Mine's nice. What you got there, darling? Well, we didn't get our fish and chips as planned, but we got the chips. That was a rubbish pickup. Hold on. Hold on. We got the chips. And they taste so much better outside. How I remember, rip the bag, rip a hole in the bag. Yeah. And a nice cool fresh air. And this means that we will still be on our quest to get the proper fish and chips another day. Good morning guys. We're going to wrap up the vlog because today we are driving to a new country. Very exciting, very exciting. We're going to Wales, but we can't like cross into a new country at the end of this vlog, so that'll all happen in the next vlog. So you have to wait. Yes, but before we go, what's your first impressions then, my love, of Van Life UK? I'm really enjoying myself, and I think it's easier than what we thought. It is literally only like a few days in, isn't it? But so far, it's good. It's not as cold as we thought either. Yeah. I, I, I actually thought it was gonna be freezing, excuse my phone and I, not as gray as we thought yeah and not as wet as we thought but it is early days yeah it's lucky. all gonna change i think we've been quite lucky <laughs> but anyway before we go we just wanted to say a couple of quick thank yous because um probably about two years ago <laughs> when we originally said that we're coming to the uk before covid happens uh before covid happened we got sent a couple of gifts, didn't we? And we've only just managed to pick them up. So we just wanted to do a quick thank you. So it was like Christmas picking up these things. So first, all the way from Wisconsin, we got two bottles of this, which is maple syrup. Yum, yum, yum. We haven't tried it yet, but we love maple syrup and I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. So thank you so much. We're not gonna like name folk because we're not sure about privacy things and if people want us to. So we're just gonna say, thank you, you know who you are. Um, then we got a lovely little spoon. Look at that. That was all the way from the US as well. And it's very cute. Look engraved. at that. Sarah's kitchen engraved. How cute. What I'm most excited about is 
Now someone's kind enough to send us a year's supply of Marmite, two tubs of that. Yeah, a year's supply, so two huge tubs of Marmite. A flipping massive thing, look at that, of coffee. I mean, that will actually last us a year. And then they also sent crunchy onions for, I think four bags of this. Again, it's gonna last us a year. Yeah, and by the way, onions. they are still in date because they've been waiting for us in the UK for like I said, close to two years, still in date. And anyway, we love these so much that we would eat them stale. So it's fine. And they also sent like a huge thing of Tetley tea bags, like I think a thousand tea bags, but we did actually donate them, didn't we? Yes, we donated them to my mum and dad. And I hate to say this, but they didn't last a year. <laughs> Did they? If, they, if they, were, they lasted quite a long time. Lasted quite, yeah. I remember them saying Probably the tea right, bags yeah. finally run out. Yeah. If they, if we don't drink tea so much, so they yeah. would have lasted us a year, so we'll give you that one. But thank you so much for sending those. Yeah, it was brilliant. And um, also, uh, we got sent the um, Gentle Chef cookbook, which is like a plant based recipe and loads of like seitan recipes and mm. all sorts. So thank you so really much nice for that. Recipe, I have been studying a little bit. So I will continue to do that. Um, and then there was the portrait of Dizzy and Charlie. Which is so good. Really, really, really Re like. Realistic, yeah. basically, yeah. But we haven't got that in the van because it's in a nice frame and it's a bit too big for the van. So we will be collecting that and taking it back down to Spain. Now, if anyone else wants to send us some early Christmas presents or any gifts of <laughs> any kind, we're, we're more than happy. <laughs> On top of all that, guys, we just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who supported this channel, past, present, and future. That doesn't really make sense. But uh, anyway, yeah, anyone who supported this channel, you know who you are. We are truly grateful and happy that we can continue to create our vlogs and share them with everyone. And thanks everyone who watches our videos as well. Diz, anything to add before we go? Anything this? Anything, anything at, all? at all? No? Okay. That's it. Thank you. So I just want to get the last word in. As always, my love. <laughs> and this vlog is going to be so long as is a goodbye. But yeah, PPS, if you've got any recommendations for Wales, <gasps> north or south, can yes. you drop them in the comments? Yes, please. That would be absolutely fantastic, guys. Uh, we're really looking forward to exploring Wales and the rest of the UK. Of course. As much as we can see in the time we have. Just leaving it on me awkwardly now, aren't you? Yeah, because I can't turn it off. We've got the dogs in the other end. <laughs> we we want a shop only selling, selling fish, fish and chips. chips. Yeah, it's going to be proper, hasn't it? Come on. Mm. So yeah, so we'll do that tomorrow for lunchtime. Promise. Promise. Nice pint of ale. But I don't really like ales that much, but yeah, it's got to be done. done. In that heat, Diz. Enjoying the heat. Likely, and he said that again, more serious, because last year there was no flu. I like the fire. Were self-isolate, well, not keeping their distance.